Babesia is a protozoan parasite of the blood that causes a hemolytic disease known as babesiosis. Babesia is spread through the saliva of a tick when it bites, but also rarely through blood transfusions. Deer ticks are pathogen-free when they hatch from eggs and are known as larvae at this stage in the deer tick life cycle. These newly hatched larvae wait for hosts in the leaf litter on the ground. This is where the Babesia parasite lives, in the blood of white-footed mice also inhabiting and passing through the same larvae-infested leaf litter. Larvae become infected with Babesia when they take a blood meal from white-footed mice. After transforming from the larval stage into nymphs, these newly infected nymphs are ready to transmit Babesia to human hosts during the nymphal blood meal. As you can see here, the deer tick goes through several stages. They start by attaching to the mouse as larvae, then becoming gorge larvae, which finally become nymphs. Once the poppy seed side nymphs latch onto a host, they usually crawl upwards until they reach a point where clothing restricts any further upward movement. The tick then uses its cutting chelicery to make a hole in the skin and quickly sink their barbed hypostome into the hole. Within a short period of time, the tick begins a complex cycle of salivation and sucking. Their saliva contains hundreds of pharmacologically active molecules that suppress the host's ability to fend off the invader. The tick slices through small capillaries, creating a pool of blood that remains uncoagulated due to the tick's salivary anticoagulant. Over the next several days, the nymph feeds unnoticed because of its small size and the pain-killing chemicals it secretes. It also will begin ingesting blood, increasing in size tenfold. By day two of attachment, Babesia sporozoites will have matured in the tick's salivary glands and are transmitted to the host as the tick salivates. Parasites mature in the mammalian host, invading the host's red blood cells, which are critical for carrying oxygen throughout the body. As the parasites develop, they kill the red cell, releasing toxic heme and other fever-inducing chemicals into the bloodstream. In severe cases, 3 to 6% of the red blood cells may be parasitized. Humans infected with Babesia may experience spiking fever and chills, and as more red blood cells are destroyed, may become anemic, exhausted, and in some cases even die from respiratory distress.